What are you doing, Edie? Monitoring reports of proton storms and other space weather. With the Reapers attacking the comm buoy systems, critical warnings may be lost. How bad are these storms? If we are warned, not bad. If we are not warned, very bad. Thanks for the info, Edie. Anything else? Hello, Shepard. Nope. Joker. Glad you talked Samara down. I never thought I'd see her flinch from her duty. I don't know. On one hand, that code's all she's had to live by for, God, centuries. Then the galaxy goes to hell. The old rules don't cut anymore. I mean, we're cutting some corners, right? A few. Well, the Alliance can always court-martial us after we save the galaxy. They might do that. Commander. <laughs> he said that a whole bunch louder than everything else. Uh, but we are ready to go from the CIC again. We'll see if anybody wants to hang out with me in my room again. Garrett and mentioned something about you two having some fun next time you're on the Citadel. Don't get into trouble. I'm about to get into trouble by reloading a save. Commander. Yeah, I'm going to do that this session once I'm done uh, around here. And I'll, I'll drop a hard save. And then uh, we'll probably have sex with a couple people. <laughs> I assume that's where it's going. We'll, we'll give it a shot, at least. I did pick up uh, new shoulders. So let's see what those do for me. Exactly what I was looking for. But uh, still not as good as this. I feel like if I can get all the right parts together, like I said, it should uh, give me a bonus higher than what I already have on the Inferno. And I'm just not sure. Uh, back to the crew deck, then. It was just the private terminal at mine. Um... We'll try out here first. How you doing, Ashley? You have something to say this time for a change? Hey, Commander. I dug out some letters my youngest sister wrote when she was in high school. She was... having a hard time. Teen drama and all that. Just needed her big sis. I guess with everything that happened down there, I just wanted to read them again. Anything else? You sure make some unusual friends, Shepard. That I do. That is not a side of the sorry I ever want to see. That's it? Shepard? Well, I mean, technically she is an optional character, even though we kind of got thrust into having her in our party. But she was not required at all, right? So, makes sense she wouldn't have too much dialogue, but, I mean, for her to have, like, the same level as Javik seems a little weird to me. There hasn't been anybody in life support damn near this... Well, this entire game, no, at all. Everybody was fighting the Rachni, trying to push them back through the relay. Finally, the Krogan were turned loose and stopped them. I see. But when the Krogan rebelled, we had to deploy the Genophage to stop them. It wasn't the only rebellion. A thousand years later, the Geth revolted against the Quarians. That was a whole other war. Then along came the humans. My own people tangled with them for a while, and now, to top it all off, we've got the Reapers. What about you? The Ouroboros fought the Densorin. The Andoromai conquered the Vanduma, and the Jatil turned against the Jar. So, I guess nobody really ever gets their act together. The Sinriel claimed to have found the path to eternal peace. What happened? The Ditaka preferred war and wiped them out. I hope you guys had alcohol. Did you? Some of the crew seem shocked by the monstrosities we have encountered. They haven't seen what the Reapers could corrupt after a hundred years. That was our war. Every battle conjured a new nightmare. This human holds such childish views of war. Your species has much to learn. Maybe. Commander. That's it. Commander. All right, Garrus. Samara's the kind of soldier we need in this war. Nothing gets in her way. I just hope I'm not in her way someday. That woman means business. Now it's a mutated Asari. The Reapers are just a giant nightmare factory that never ends. I can only imagine what the Reapers are doing to the Drell. Or the Hanar. Or the Vorcha. This could get a lot worse before it gets better. I don't... I just don't fear the Hanar all that much. Good to see you. That's it. Good to see you. At least we got a little bit. It's a brilliant tactic, when you think about it. Seriously? But it's evil. When has that ever mattered in war? Yeah, but...
Converting other life forms into Reapers? I, I can't wrap my head around that. Makes sense to me. It ensures you never run out of cannon fodder, eliminates any local resistance, and for every soldier you add, your enemy loses two, the one you converted, and his buddy on the other side who can't pull the trigger on a friend. You sound like you admire them. Same way I admire a virus or a thresher maw. They've adapted perfectly to their situation. But the Reapers want to destroy us. And I have no intention of letting them. But if you don't respect your enemy's capabilities, you're in for one nasty surprise after another. We're good. Good little piece of dialogue towards the end there. Uh, Ashley was over there, that's right. So let's head out. Try to talk to Liara again. You remember like our girlfriend, Liara? Have we heard from Agent Detrace yet? She has not reported in for over eight hours, Doctor. She was stationed on Valchir when the Reapers invaded. I think we can assume what happened. Inform Agent Calamus he's now in charge of reporting Reaper activity past the lowest relay. All right, Intel Terminal. Galay's electronic signature. Matriarch Galay was an Asari of some importance with connections to Asari High Command and the Council itself. Her electronic signature can be used once before security protocols realize that it has been activated by someone else. Galay's contacts are, can open elite training facilities for reconditioning soldiers or on behalf of the Asari Embassy grant someone a discount at all Citadel stores. Uh, store discount or power damage? We're going to do power damage. That seemed, I mean, I, I do love both of these, but power damage is more important to me right now. Uh, money is not that big of an object. I mean, it is, but uh, I'm, I'm fine, I think. Broker terminal, nothing here. Liara? Poor Rila. But I'm glad she set off that bomb, Shepard. You're not upset the monastery was destroyed? No, not after what I saw. I don't care that they were Ardat Yakshi. To be turned into such creatures, nobody deserves that. Hello, Shepard. Ah, like I know Liara is an option in this game. I a know she. She has to be. Why the hell am I not getting like anywhere with her? It would help all involved if you could barter a trade of medical supplies with the Citadel refugees. Right, that again. Speak to Tactus. What, she stopped when I go in there, but now when I leave this room this way? Like, what the hell? Whatever, we're moving on. I should get more, another power added to me, but uh, not just yet. And then with Garrus moving around, there's nobody here. So we're done on this floor again. So let's head down into the engineering deck, see if they have anything else they want to talk about there. Engineering. They're still talking about Geth, so I know that the Geth will, like, fight me in this game. But, um... We haven't fought the Geth at all to this point, have we? I think they've been absent from the game. In terms of enemies to this point. Did you hear? Kelly Chambers is dead. Yeah. No, what happened? Cerberus found her during a Citadel coup. Shot her where she stood. Oh, that's terrible. She seemed really nice. She was. What if we'd gone back to Cerberus? Your gut saved us, Gabby. All propulsion systems are running optimal. Commander. Commander. So all you had to say is that I fucked up. That's all you had to say. All you guys wanted to talk so about. The Ardat Yakshi? No. I think that story would be perfect for you. The hidden dark side of the most beautiful race in the galaxy. We have a huge Asari audience. If I do that story, I could lose them. That seems a bit like pandering. Ever seen how fast an e-democracy can abandon its allies? No. If I do my job, you won't. Anything else? I talked with Williams. Between the 212, Horizon, and the Council's other guards, it's like death just follows her around. How nice of you to say. Do we need to talk, Commander? No. Not right now, Allers. 
Let me know when we do. Yeah, we might need to go back and talk. <laughs> I'm gonna see if it's possible. I don't know if it actually changes anything. I'm trying to stay as loyal to Liara as I can. I'm hoping that- I always that... love the M35, Mako. It's got heart, you know? Oh, come on. The M44 Hammerhead is vastly superior. Mm. Come on, that thing's made of tissue paper. At least the Mako can take a few hits. I'd hope so. That thing handles like a drunk rhino. No agility whatsoever. More like a bull that can climb and climb for days. You're both terrible. It only climbs because of its stupid, vertically aligned mass effect field. Jump or stick. No speed. No lateral movement. Did I hey, kill him? Can't like that. Who needs to move? If you want that, why don't you just stick with the old M29 Grizzly? Hey, I love that tank. <laughs> You would be one to love grizzly bears, Mr. Vega. <laughs> what? What's so funny? I apparently killed the dog! We might have to come back. They said I can examine him for a change, so I was kind of interested in that. Procurement interface. Uh, anything good? Collector armor, but... Uh, no. <gasps> Increased power damage. Ooh. That's on the Citadel. I'll have to go back to the Citadel for that. Uh, there's the helmet there. Um, it's ammo capacity. I don't care. I feel like I missed something, and that's why it's there. Uh, SMG magazine upgrade. Hand Kadar. Gauntlets. Right. No. Passive fabrication, a gun, a new sniper rifle. Don't care about that. Um, yeah, so far, nothing that really strikes my attention is uh, something that I need to get, you know, like fish. <laughs> I know I have a very strange uh, sense of what I need to get, but still, it's what I look for. Shields. All right. And finally, no, no. All right. It's worth checking out. You know, next time we're at the Citadel, I think I might hit a nightclub. You should join me. Eh, not right now. The next time you blow up a monastery, let me know you've left the premises, okay? I worry about you. Why? Is everything okay, Shepard? Good to see you, Commander. All right. Done there. I might have to come back for the dog. Hey. Really? Hey. All right, so I made the dog collapse. I feel guilty. I'm going to, can I like just reset it? Yeah. All right, uh, doesn't matter where. Shuttle bay. All right, dog's back. They're not letting me examine it this time. And I'm right on it. You can tell because it's pushing me. All right, so let's head back to the CIC. We already mentioned something about possibly meeting you on the Citadel next time you're there. All right, thank you, trainer. Commander. Uh, no, no emails based on discussions that I've had. No. All right, so let me go ahead and drop a hard save. Create new save. Save the game. Um, we'll wait for that thing to go away. I don't think I have to, but I'm going to. And then we'll reload the quick save. And we'll see what I can do. I'm very curious about this one. All right, let's invite Trainer up. Trainer, if you're not doing anything, I've got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? Your cabin is gorgeous. I've seen apartments smaller than this. Oh, an actual shower. The faucets in the women's bathroom are crap, by the way. In any event, I thought you might be in the mood to play. Funny you should mention yes. that. I bought a board on the Citadel. GUI interface, not nearly as much fun as real pieces. But I hoped you might give me some pointers. I'll give you something. Since we're doing it, I might as well go all in. Uh, how about a shower? That's funny. I figured you'd be more interested in a shower. I didn't realize that was an option. It's an option. Well... Just give me a moment to grab my things. And into the shower she goes. Bathing with her. 
bra and panties on. Which is still weird to me. Ah, uh, hot water and room to stretch. I could get lost in here. <laughs> I don't know, just something about that look right oh, there. It's like a week's worth of stress is washing off. And the timing's perfect. I was hoping to look nice for somebody. For me. Hot date lined up? Hopefully more than just that. I play for keeps. Oh, snap. Sounds serious. That depends on whether she's interested. All right, let's see what happens if I join her. She's interested. Oh, snap. Using me for my shower. I certainly hope so. Well, in that case, it's yours whenever you like. Mm. That, that's it. That's what I get. All right, establish or rekindle a romantic relationship. I got an achievement for that. Of course, that doesn't actually count. Uh, let's sex up Allers then. Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. I might need to reload in order to get this ready to actually check, work. Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret that Council Space has suffered some serious losses to the Reapers lately. Now Cerberus has struck directly at the seat of our government. If something as small as a human terrorist organization can hit the Citadel, is anywhere safe? Let's just do the same options. Cerberus has limited resources. This coup attempt was likely the best they could do. And it cost them a lot of money and troops. A little fear is understandable, but it can't paralyze you. They've failed as many times as they've succeeded. But humanity has lost its counselor. Fuck em. The Alliance Parliament is destroyed, and the Prime Minister's dead. The line of succession is getting pretty short. How long do you expect any new Alliance administration to last? Leaders will rise. You can't lose hope. Our enemies won't rest until they've taken the last human being. Until then, we're not beaten. Right now, it's everyone's duty to step up. And then we fade. All right. Oh. Now a question from Thessia. Right. Can I skip Commander, this list? It one takes a while. Thanks for your time, Commander. This is Diana Allers for Battle Space. Good night and stay strong. I'm going to fuck her when the camera stops. Be careful, Commander. You keep feeding me like this and I'll follow you home. I'm okay with that. Looks like you already have. What happens now? You gave me a good interview, Commander. That's all I need. Oh, is tonight. Wait, tonight? Wait, so, like, I romanced her, but just not, like, yet? Uh, huh. All right, we're going to try it one more time. Uh, but this time I don't... Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this time I don't, um, sex a trainer. Trainer. I'm going to try anything, to skip I've this. Got a few hours free. Would you like to come up? As much as I can. Just to see, like, is Allers possible? It sounds like the she is, is, just not up. yet. And I, in any event. Chess. Right. Really ball, but uh, that's I it? Hope. The most exciting thing you could think of is playing chess? Well, if you're not up for the challenge, try me. And then we don't get a shower. We don't get leg lifted. We don't get nothing. <sighs> oh, come on. In real life, that tactic right. well, and then you know what I we've mean. seen this. Infantry. That reminds me of a joke. One right. Is an what happens if I, you know what? Yeah, I get it. And the other doesn't. Ooh. Right. <laughs> Thanks. So, hell yes. So, did not sex trainer. Can I sex Allers? Trainer, can you send Diana up? She wanted an interview. Right away, Commander. Let's, let's try to go through this a little quickly ready for again. A chat, Commander? I'm ready. Commander, it's no secret. Now right. Cerberus has struck directly. If something as small as a human terror... We'll do the same ones. This coup attempt. A little fear is understood. But humanity... The Alliance... Problem. How long do you expect any new Alliance... Let's go. Right now, it's everyone. All right. Okay. Thanks for your time, Commander. Be careful, Commander. You keep I'm okay with like that. that. Looks like you already have. What happens now? You gave me a good interview, Commander. That's all I need. Tonight. 
I feel like she's showing off the butt. I feel like she is, but it doesn't change anything. So I could have sexed Trainer, but Allers apparently gets put off until later. Well, that answers the questions that I had. So let's go ahead and reload my actual save here. Uh, those were the questions I had. I'm like, if it's that easy, I will show it off. But uh, I know in the first game, and then I believe in the second game, like it was something that I had to put off really early before I could actually show it off. So since I had the opportunity, I figured I'd show off uh, like underwear shower groping scenes. Show those off while I can. But now that I have shown those off, that is going to do it for these parts of Let's play Mass Effect 3, Half and Baller School by the Joy, as always, by the incredibly sexy Mariah Shepard. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.